Hey guys, in this video, I want to share with you my favorite false cuts. They are super easy. I've seen uh, professionals use these. Real professionals. And you could probably learn them uh, by the end of the video or with just a little bit of practice. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's get into my favorite one first. Uh, it looks just like this. And essentially all you're doing is a... Uh, it's a swing false cut. You're going to swing over into this hand, the top portion, tap it, drop this bottom part, drop this top part on top, and that's your false cut. There you go. Now, you could also just go like this at speed, but I really like the idea of tapping the deck. It really helps to sell the illusion and makes it look a little bit more like an authentic cut. Uh, for whatever reason, it just does. Just try to believe me. <laughs> All right, my second favorite uh, false cut is sometimes referred to as the JOC false cut. It looks a little bit like this. And that's a false cut right there. Full deck false cut. All the cards stay in the same order. Of course, you know it's a false cut, but if you didn't know and you were just watching, it is a little disarming you fooled me and all that's happening is you're taking the top third of the deck placing it down you're gonna cut this in half place that one here and you're gonna take the bottom portion place that one here and then you're just gonna stack them back in order like that and essentially if you pay attention all you're doing is putting the top part here the middle part here the bottom part here and then stacking the top here here and leaving the bottom still on the bottom. I think it looks uh, deceiving because it mimics what some people have seen, which is this right here, which is a real cut. Um, and so I think the mind kind of just uses what it already knows and pieces it together and it looks like a completely false cut at that point. Um, I've seen Roberto Giobi do a version of this uh, that looks like this. And uh, all you're doing with that is you're going to take two thirds of the top, cut them here. You're going to take half of that, the top, put it here, and then you're just going to pick them up in order, but putting them into the hands instead of stacking them on top. Um, I recommend not learning uh, both of those and trying to use both of them just because in performance, uh, your mind can get a little confused. Confused and forget which one it's trying to do. You can start in with that and your mind could say, hey, do I need to stack these next or should I be picking them up? Yeah. Right, and so it'll kind of trip you up. So I recommend just uh, using one of those and sticking with that. That way it'll get ingrained in your mind and your mind won't have to think about it. You'll just do it naturally. So don't try to do both. My third favorite uh, false cut, uh, and I like the other two better, but I'm going to throw this one in as a bonus. Because I like you. Uh, essentially looks just like this. Uh, and all you're going to be doing is taking the bottom portion of the deck and putting it down. And then taking the top portion and just dropping it right back on top. It mimics uh, this right here which is why it's convincing. Sure is. And I like this little subtlety of putting your finger right here because what that does is it kind of gives this illusion that you are drawing the top of the deck off. Um, all you're doing is you're putting your finger here and you're, you're still taking the bottom portion and you're just sliding this finger off. You're not taking the card. So it, you have this kind of retention of vision that your finger was here and it's here and it looks like that was still like the top of the deck. So um, anyways, those are my three uh, favorite easy false cuts. I've seen professionals use them and they fly. Uh, very simple to learn. Uh, let me know if you like those. Uh, leave a comment and a like and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, be prepared for my next video, guys. Thanks.